BK was invited to cover today's meeting at the White House. And while we were there, legal editor Julie Grant got a chance to speak to the counselor to the president on the opioid epidemic. She brings us the very latest from Washington. The number of lives lost is stunning. Last year, 64,000 Americans lost their lives to overdose deaths, a complicated problem that President Trump is attacking head on. This president is waging a three war front simultaneously, not sequentially. Education and prevention, treatment and recovery, law enforcement and interdiction, all of those will help Western Pennsylvania and elsewhere in this, in this fight. Counselor to the President Kellyanne Conway wants the people of Western Pennsylvania to know they are on the President's mind. We're trying to reduce the stigma and the silence because that is literally a killer. If people feel like they can't come forward and say that they need help. Some of the many goals are getting more people access to treatment and letting people know they have a right to refuse a 30-day opioid prescription. Lots of physicians are being much more responsible and not prescribing 30 days or two bottles of 30 days each for 60. And we also want people to know that law enforcement and interdiction are very much on the front lines now. Um, disrupting the flow of illicit drugs. Another goal is getting youth especially to understand you cannot misuse your own prescription or someone else's. I want everybody in Western Pennsylvania to know what fentanyl is. F-E-N-T-A-N-Y-L. A lot of Americans don't know what it is. It's being laced into street drugs and it's a killer. Conway wants people to also realize the power in sharing their own stories, which is why they created crisisnextdoor.gov, where people can do just that. Tell us your story, because I think the more that we share those stories, um, the more the stigma and silence will, will, will break apart. The White House is also getting ready to launch an educational ad campaign so that a lack of information is no longer part of the problem. Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.